Hey guys, I've been wanting to try something different on the channel for a while, uh, kind of uh, broaden the horizons of what kind of content I put on here. And I got to thinking that one of the things that I really wanted to start focusing on for me was building stuff, like actually getting my hands dirty with some hardware. So I went over to Banggood and I picked up this little Tesla coil kit for about six bucks. So it showed up in the mail today and I put it together and I've got kind of a time lapse of that. That's about 30 seconds long that I'll show here. And uh, the process was pretty straightforward. Uh, it did come with instructions. Uh, the problem is that they're all in Chinese and unfortunately I don't read Chinese. Luckily there was uh, there were some instructions on uh, the Banggood website that really did help me kind of go through this process uh, to make sure that I was putting it together the right way. They kind of showed the, I guess, four or five steps that it takes uh, to get all the different parts in where they belong. Uh, there are a couple of areas that you got to pay attention to as far as uh, a couple of the different MOSFETs. Uh, there's two different types of MOSFETs in there. Um, and you want to make sure you get those in the right spots. Um, and there's a couple other things that have a polarity that you've got to pay attention to, uh, like the LEDs as well as one of the capacitors. But once you've got all that put together, uh, I think the whole thing only took me about half an hour. And that was even kind of going back and forth, um, you know, looking at the instructions online, that sort of thing. So I got it all put together and uh, I can say that it works sort of. It does not work the way they show it in the picture um, on, on the Banggood website. Um, that picture is a bit misleading leading uh, just the the uh, the way it's overdone in my opinion um, but I guess what do you expect for six bucks I can say that it does work in the sense that you can put a filament or a CFL light next to it and it will light it up uh, without that light being plugged in uh, obviously it won't work with things like LEDs as they they get their power directly uh, from a power source um, so it kind of works. Um, I was able to actually put my finger on there. I don't recommend doing that. Uh, but if you put your finger on there, it will shock you a little bit. Um, and it will kind of give you a nasty burning skin kind of thing there. So don't touch it when it's on. Uh, it will possibly burn you. Um, but overall, like I said, it works to the extent that it kind of works. Uh, it doesn't work at anything like what it shows in the pictures on the Banggood website. But uh, really I wanted to um, kind of expand, like I said, the content on here, but I also wanted to um, practice with soldering and that kind of stuff because I'm just not very good at it yet. Uh, I think the solders turned out, or the solder joints turned out pretty good on this one. So if you like this kind of content, uh, you can let me know by hitting the thumbs up button, hitting the subscribe button, or letting me know down in the comment section below. But I think with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. Just a short, quick video this time. Um, as always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.